Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install the pistons in the engine block. So at the end of today we should have a full rotating assembly ready for the next step. But before we get to that, a couple things to take care of. If you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, go and drop down, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so every Sunday when I upload a video, you guys will get notified. Um, and also if you haven't hopped over to Facebook and like the page, um, at the Money Garage. What you're going to need to do this, some engine oil for lubricating the piston for install, 24 millimeter socket and ratchet for rotating the crank, connecting rod, bolt sleeves to protect the crankshaft when you're sliding the piston down into the cylinder, half inch socket and ratchet, choice of hammer, well dead blow or rubber mallet, you can either use an actual piston installer or a dead blow to something that will not mar the piston up choice of piston installer the universal you can ratchet it down or you can actually get a sized sleeve that makes it really easy and then obviously a torque wrench for final torque on the connecting rod nuts when I install pistons I like to if possible have the sonar mode install being flat and then I will actually put the crankshaft to where it is straight down from the bore that way it's a straight shot down. For the pistons, you'll have a dot or some kind of indicator, some use an arrow, that'll tell you which way is the goes towards the front of the motor. And then on Fords, they number their caps, that'll face towards the outside. So I will take the nuts off. Slide the cap off, and then you take the sleeves, slide them on like such. And then I will put my hand in the oil, lubricate all this, and then always double check your ring gaps. Make sure they haven't moved if you've been messing with the pistons before you install them. All right. Once you get the piston oiled down, and I prefer the sleeve style, gently slide it in. Make sure all your rings drop like such. Number one is installed. Once you're fully seated, take your sleeves off, slide the cap on, and put the nuts on there, and then Go back and forth from side to side, walk the cap up little by little. And I'll just do a couple rotations to make sure everything feels good. Then I will set my next cylinder, which is number two, at the bottom and repeat the process.
thing to do is torque the cap nuts. The range is 19 to 24 foot pounds. I'm doing 22 foot pounds. We're just going to start and just head straight back. And you may have to rotate. I can't get to those back there very easy, so. And I always spin them over again to make sure nothing feels like it bound up. It's moving smooth. Oh, uh, there you go. All eight pistons are installed. Rotate smoothly. I don't feel any binding, anything to be worried about. So the next step is going to be oil pump, front cover, oil pan, and that should finish the short block. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it or thought it was useful, hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Subscribe, hit the bell. So until next time, guys, take care. See you next week.